Hello, my name is Alex Ho. I am here today with my consulting group hired to help WeWork improve on their financial gains. So WeWork is a real estate company that purchases whole buildings and leases out office space and equipment. They do their membership on a monthly subscription. They mainly focus on startups companies that need office space for businesses. Their main problem is they have a problematic CEO that keeps on losing money for its shareholders. In 2017, even though they earned $886 million in revenue, they lost about $883 million of that. And this continued to the next year where they earned $1.8 billion and losing $1.9 billion of that too. The company struggled to earn money for its shareholders. And during September 2019, their IPO paperwork went public and as it was being criticized, the CEO stepped down and their financial backing company, SoftBank, took control. Under the new, under the new control, there was a new CEO admitted and they want to continue with their five-year plan to become free cash positive by 2024. I will hand the mic to Ashley as she would speak about the incident report. Hi, my name is Ashley, and for my topic of discussion, as Alex mentioned, will be about the incident report. So the main issue that we've seen, that, that, that we've noticed throughout the entire um, project is that Adam Newman was our um, main concern because he has done a lot of controversial and made many problematic decisions um, that affected the company. So first, I'm going to list off the things that he's done that um, have affected the company or just things in general. So the first thing was that he was caught um, smoking marijuana on a private jet with staff members present, as well as pour pouring tequila shots for his employees while discussing the layoffs of other employees. And he's he also forced the company to... Uh, trademark the name We because of WeWork for $5.9 million. Um, and also the main issue was that for every one vote a shareholder has, he has equivalent of 20. So this was mostly a one-sided um, relationship that he had with his uh, shareholders. This kind of gives his investors and also the public um, like the lost in trust Another issue is with Rebecca Newman, his wife, and um, the company. So Re Rebecca Newman was known to f fire um, employees while only meeting them for a couple minutes only because of their bad energy. So this kind of shows how both him and his wife have done really questionable things within the company. And also I'll discuss what has happened um, with WeWork. So with WeWork, um, they would pay Adam Newman rent while also lending him money. This just kind of shows how, although uh, later, as we will mention um, in this presentation, how although they make a lot of sales and revenue, they seem to lose that because of the reckless spending that Adam Newman has made. So I'm gonna pass on to Johnny now. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Johnny, and today I will be going over two reports our team composed. One is going to be the investigative report, and the second is going to be the feasibility report, going over the two solutions we proposed. So in the initial investigation report, we will discuss WeWork's business model, uh, their previous failures under the CEO, and their five-year uh, plan to become uh, cash flow positive by 2024. So as a part of our analysis, uh, to WeWork's current situation, it is important to describe what WeWork's current business model is. You know, as Alex described earlier, in a sense, they're a big subleasing company. You know, they will hold the long-term leases with these many uh, building owners, and in hopes uh, they will uh, go ahead and lease them out short-term to their customer base. And they do this by renting either entire office or some office floors and renovating that into multiple spaces that you can divide up to their customers. So during the investigation, we found that, you know, the previous CEO Newman was squandering millions of dollars 
on extravagant parties, you know, renovations of their private jet, and how he encouraged a hostile work environment centered around partying. And during his uh, time as CEO, he also encouraged um, gender discrimination and sexual harassment, as we found that there are many cases of sexual harassment and inequality in pay for women that went unsolved under his reign. So currently WeWork does have a five-year plan to become ca cash flow free positive by 2024. However, in this plan, the company outlines three goals one short-term, one mid-term, and one long-term go in order to establish $1 billion in revenue by 2024. So in the short-term uh, goal, they plan on resizing their company and cutting down their long-term debt obligations. In the mid-term, they hope to grow their customer base by over a million users. In the long-term, they hope to be the end-to-end -end business solution for all the companies. So. After this report, we would have to recommend two solutions. One, as we did research, we found the companies that rivaled WeWorks in the same industry, they had actually partnered up with business owners and instead of signing long-term leases, they decided to do a collaboration and partner up with the building owners by finding or sourcing the tenants for them and taking just a portion of the monthly rent or so like that. And so in turn, they would not have to owe any monthly rent and if they could source, they would generate profit. If we worked, were to go with this route, that would help them cut back their long-term debt obligations and their operating costs. And the second solution we have proposed is for WeWorks to continue downsizing their current shares in the real estate market. And then by doing this, this will also help them lower their long-term debt obligations, and then that will allow them to free up more cash flow in order to work towards the $1 billion goal that they're hoping to reach. So in my next report, we're gonna go over the feasibility report on both these solutions. So the first solution, which is the new business model, right? Uh, partnering up with um, the, the business, uh, the building owners, sorry. Um, in order to do this, WeWorks would have to go ahead and hire consultants to come up with a new plan. They would have to pay uh, lawyer fees and they would have to continue with their annual operating costs. And in total, this would cost a little bit over a billion dollars. Uh, it's gonna be an annual salary for the consultant is gonna be about $75,000. Annual salary for lawyers is gonna be about $170,000 and their annual operating cost is $850 million. So in total, over a, little bit, a billion dollars. In the next proposal, which is going to be downsizing uh, their current share in the real estate market, well, that includes the same as you know the lawyer fees, the renovating costs, and the settlement fees, as well as their annual operating costs again. So we estimated, based on you know, previous events, what their renovation costs would be for the year. It would cost them about $300 million. The annual salary for lawyers, once again, it's going to be 107, 170,000. And in settlement fees, we're expected to pay about 300 to 400 million dollars just because WeWorks actually owes about 17.9 billion dollars worth of long term uh, leasing obligations. So, in turn, you know, the settlement fees would be about a third of that. And their annual operating cost again is going to be 850 million dollars, right? So through these two solutions or alternatives, uh, we work, we'll see that they're gonna lessen the amount of debt they both owe, they owe on both solutions. However, we would recommend that WeWorks actually go ahead and pay the extra money for the settlement fees as this in the long term would allow them to generate money quicker and free up um, their cash flow for their plan to expand you know, their customer base and generate that $1 billion. And then I will hand it over to Alex. For the progress report, I will be talking about the choice of the company's decisions and compare the outcome of their decisions to that of the suggestions in the feasibility report. So since the CEO stepped down and a new CEO took office, they have been implementing their five-year plan. And here's are some things that they have done so far. WeWork has cut their underperforming locations and closed 100 pre-open pre locations. They also, 
They also improved on their net loss from $1.2 billion from the third quarter of 2019 to $517 million in 2020. Although revenue took a dip, mainly due to coronavirus, from $934 million to $811 million in 2020. WeWork has also worked to create an on-demand option for its workstations and work with universities to bring students another remote place to study. We will also launch a new feature to book space on demand and out of regular business hours. This is an effort to combat the uncertainty of coronavirus in the future. After launching the on demand option, the work, the demand for workstation has risen 65% and revenue has rose 70% over the 2024 quarter. Our recommendation for WeWork is first to move away from their old business model of signing long-term leases on buildings and buying the building to working with the owner of the buildings to split the profit at a set rate. This can lower depreciation costs of the buildings and also operating costs of the company. The second recommendation we gave them was to lessen the commitment on a long-term lease and resize their numbers of office they have. The team decided that the first recommendation is the best to resize and work with the building owners to lessen their depreciation costs and operation costs. Our recommendation will work and we work will see an increase in revenue without needing to pay off recklessly to pay off reckless spending and building operation, operating expenses and depreciation. I will hand the mic back to Ashley as she will conclude the project. Hi, so as Alex and Johnny has, have mentioned, the best solution for this company we work will be resizing the amount of leases. So basically as external consultants, it's our job to find the best solution for this company in order for them to thrive and just uh, fix the mistakes that they've been done and to learn from the past. So that is our report about on reworks and thank you for listening.